This is going to be part three of the series of tutorials for completing Word 2021 in practice, chapter three, guided project three dash one. In the previous two parts, we got as far as completing step number uh, six, I believe. Yep. Where we're done with the markup and now we're going to add document properties. Now, Again, the, the first, the way we get to it is slightly different on Mac and Windows. On Mac, they tell me to go to File, Properties, Summary. File is right here. File, Properties, Properties, right here. And something called Summary. And I got to this box that they want me to get into. On Windows, it's going to be, let me switch to the Windows. Just a little different, but just as easy to find. On Windows, same step, step number seven. There's no file uh, menu. There's a file tab, which is the, the leftmost one, and it opens the backstage view. That's where we do, you know, save, save as, but there's also a button called info there, and we click info, and there's also going to be a button called show all properties. From that point on, you're going to see the same things. Title, company and manager now i gotta tell you the easiest way for me to do that let me go back to mac you see how it's the same uh i did this i did this and then i'm going to add the following document properties the title i'm going to highlight it from the browser from the instructions and copy or you know command c on a mac control c on windows if you feel that it's easier for you to type it that's fine and that's going to be the title i just pasted again with command v or right click and paste um the next thing they want me to do is to give it the company again i can even right click and copy or control c if you're on a on Windows uh, and the company not the subject and on you know on anything like that and manager is that person who gave me all those comments copy that way I know I didn't misspell any of this manager right click Base. They didn't tell you anything about subject. They didn't tell you anything about com uh, uh, about category or keywords and all this stuff. Um, let's see if that's it. Title, company, and manager. That's all they wanted you to add. Click OK to return to the document. And this is like, you know, compare that pretty much to... Uh, if, there, if you remember what letters look like, uh, the inside of the letter is the document. What's written on the envelope is what we just added, the document properties, like who's the sender, who's the receiver, who it belongs to, and so on. Then they want us to apply styles to the document. This part, I believe, is pretty much the same on Mac and Windows. Go to the first page of the document, select the title Online Learning play, uh, a Plan, and apply the title style. So Online Learning Plan... I'm going to either click just to the left of it or select it, doesn't matter. Under Home, I got this gallery of all the styles. I'm opening up the gallery and I'm finding title. Here's title. Now, the reason it looks this way is because of the theme that was already applied to it, because titles don't always look like this. They are theme dependent. Um, next, let's save. The next change they want me to make, um, is to select the subtitle, which starts with Sierra Pacific, and apply the subtitle style. Sierra Pacific, this, I'm going to find the style called subtitle. Here it is. Save. Then they want me to apply heading one to all the main headings, all caps and bold in the document. Everything that's caps and bold in the document, they want it to be a heading one. So let's see. This is caps and bold, heading one. This is caps and bold, heading one. This is 
not really a, a this is not a heading this is the beginning of a paragraph we'll find we'll compare that with the results just to make sure this is a heading one and this is going to be a heading uh, a heading two let's see if i got more heading ones here's a heading one keep going keep going keep going there's a lot that's it and they're saying also to look for apply the heading to style to all the subheadings which are all the underlines in the document so there's i don't think there's an easy way of looking for all the underlined style other than just scrolling 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 and here's one and i'm going to make it a heading two and here's another one and i'm going to make it a heading two and here's another one you see how heading one is a little more prominent heading two is just a little less uh here's another heading two and here's another heading two and here's another one and i believe that's it i hope i didn't miss any of them you take your time so you don't miss any of them the next step is to insert that's going to be step number nine to insert a table of contents in the report i believe it would be best if uh, i stop this part of the tutorial and i do this on the next part